How to expand your storage by adding more drives. Today we'll be going over step by step on how to expand your capacity on your NAS. Whether you have migrated from a smaller unit or you simply have extra slots that you have not filled in yet. If you're watching this video, there's a big chance that your drives have filled up or you've scored a great deal on drives and you want to fill them up with your free slots on your NAS. What you need in this process is of course your new drive or drives. If they've been previously used, make sure that the data on it is backed up somewhere else because it will be formatted and the data on it will be wiped clean. In our last video, QNP220, we've done a step-by-step -step video on how to migrate your data from another NAS and I'll be basing this demo on the previous demo, which I'm using a 4-bay unit which I have migrated from a 2-bay unit. Please note that if you didn't migrate from another NAS and simply want to expand your storage by adding additional drives, if your RAID was configured as a RAID 5, you won't need to perform the RAID migration process. But if you're just like me, adding an additional drive to RAID 1, it will be required to migrate to a different level such as a RAID 5 or a RAID 6. Also keep in mind that if your NAS was previously configured as RAID 0, RAID 10, Single, and JBOD, these drive configurations don't support storage expansion. In our example today, my 4-bay NAS has two existing drives that I've migrated from the 2-bay NAS, and now I have a new SSD that I just ordered and I want to put it in to expand the overall capacity through our QTS user interface. Note that we're using the new storage manager, QTS 4.2, Step 1. Let's install the new drives into the NAS and plug them in. You should hear a beep or a green light has turned on above the drive tray, meaning that it's been detected. Go ahead and head over to your QTS OS. So let's get started here. Let's log into your QTS with your username and password. Make sure you're an admin and look for the storage manager icon on your desktop. If not, you can click on the left hand side and click on it. You can see this is the overall storage manager of your NAS. There's four slots. There's two green boxes, meaning that it detects this RAID group, which is the one that we migrated from the other NAS. And you can see that the third one is grayed out. So it's actually detected, but it's not part of the RAID group. Therefore, we have to configure it and add it in. So let's go on over to the left-hand side, the storage space. And you can see this is your total capacity right here and you want to manage here click on it and then you can see there are two disks in RAID 1 so you can see under the RAID type and what you want to do is click expand pool add new disk and then select your RAID group click next and then add your third disk which is my SanDisk SSD click next and then if all checks out then expand. So this simple, these simple steps just lets you expand quickly. And then you click on OK. And then you can see this is your overall capacity. So you have three disks with RAID 5, which is what we want. And you can repeat the, this step if you want to add another disk to expand your RAID 5. And you can see that the migration status come up, meaning that it started migrating from a RAID 1 to a RAID 5. And make sure that the green boxes are appearing for the third disk. And that's it. So the migration process may take a few hours, so make sure to leave your NAS on and plugged in and to check out the status after a few hours or the next day will be fine. And your NAS should be able to, to work properly still while migrating, so don't worry about that. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other videos. Thank you.